This video is pretty straightforward. Uh, I just have a list of questions I'm going to read out. And if you know the answers to any of them, please let me know. These are just some kind of questions I've just been thinking about for a while. Never really got a concrete answer and uh, I'm just hoping we can figure this out together. Number one, if you're fighting off an illness, why can't your brain just tell you where the illness is and what you're fighting? It just, it just lets you figure it out for yourself, which isn't very, which isn't, which isn't helpful at all, but it knows exactly what's going on. It's sending blood to certain areas and like fighting it off. So why can't it just tell you? Two, how do people not believe in aliens? The universe is like pretty much near infinite to our understanding. So if there's a planet like us, how is there not a similar planet out, out there in the universe? It feels like the odds of that are so low. So do the people that not believe in aliens just don't believe that there's like the universe exists? Three, why do people believe in astrology? Not saying there's anything wrong with believing in astrology. I'm just generally wondering what about it draws people into it so much that they will die by like their birth month and time they were born. I just, I just always want to learn more about it. Four, do the police release unsolved cases so citizens can solve them? Because I feel like if you had like a murder case and you let that loose to like a group of four girls in university, they'd FBI hunt that, that guy down so fast that like all the police would be out of the job. Maybe that's why they don't do it. But I wonder if they do release the cases to the general public. Because if they can't solve it, why don't you at least just get everyone else to help them out? Five, can someone explicitly explain to me how we make electricity? It, okay, it genuinely makes no sense. We burn coal. A thing gets electric, it makes electricity? Like, it's crazy. Or like, I don't know. It's just, it's just a crazy concept. Six, who was the first person to basically create money and convince people that this piece of paper was worth their gold or their goods? And why did people listen to them? Because it actually makes no sense if you think about the very first person to make money. They're like, no, trust me, man. This bill? If you give me that gold, this bill is worth that. You gotta trust me, you gotta trust me. What happens when you come first at an orgy as a guy? Do you just like, you just go? It's, that's it, you're done. Or you, uh, I don't know. Eight, there's black holes that could be theoretically traveling at Earth. They travel at light speed. Is there anything we could do about that? Or we just instantly spaghettify and just like die? This immediately, do we, is there a solution? Nine, why do people feel the need to defend celebrities actions? They're just like people you don't know. So why do you have the feel, the need to argue with other people about what celebrities have done to who and it just, just leave them alone. There's people. So I guess question number 10 is going to lead right into this. Why is the paparazzi allowed to exist? They feel like they're borderline stalkers that just harass celebrities all the time. How is that, how is that allowed? Like if I had a group of people following me around all the time, taking pictures of me, I would call the police. I'd be like, Hey, just so you know, there is a group of people following me around and harassing me. That'd be a problem. But for celebrities, like, ah, it's fine. 11. Why do people make cum and blood-based jewelry? That seems, uh, seems a little interesting. I guess follow-up question. So number 12, who buys that? Did, have you bought it? If you, if you bought it, I want to know. And I want to know why. 13. How do people think before they speak? This is honestly, this is a, this one's pretty close. This is near and dear to my heart because I honestly don't understand this concept. So you're saying you're having a conversation with somebody and you process what they say. You then think words in your brain. And then they're just like, yes, those are the words I wish to say. Then you say them, because that's crazy concept. So how do you, how do you, how do you do that? Because I would, I would like to know. Because sometimes I just be saying random shit, and it's not always good. Fourteen. Why do we have war crimes if the bad countries just ignore them anyways? Like, you're at war with somebody, and you're like, hey, just so you know, in this war, no, I don't know, like, wearing other army's clothes because you can't like disguise yourself apparently that's, i think that's a war crime but like what's stopping other people from just doing that like oh we're gonna punish you extra hard after this war we're at war like i don't understand why war crimes really exist is it, is it to deter like the good countries from doing them but I, I don't think that even stops them 15 what would happen if everyone just stopped paying taxes it's kind of like the oh they can't fail all of us if we all just don't show up it's like that, but on tax level. So like, would the government just be like, we have no money and our country is now crippled? Would that just, would it be bad? I guess an economist, if you're watching this video, please answer. 16, why can't we equip a deep sea camera with a light to see all the deep sea creatures? Because aren't most of the deep sea creatures already blind because they don't need their eyes? So what would the effect of a light do to them? 17, why did NASA stop exploring the ocean? I feel like this was, this is kind of an ongoing question. I've never actually seen an answer to this. I've heard it discussed before and it has stuck with me for a very long time. They must've seen something down there or they, I don't know, or they're more worried about what's coming from space. Either way, 
I'd like to know the answer. 18, why do comets just like come back after 400 years? Halley's Comet. It's just sometimes you see it and other times, like 75 years later, you'll see it. So how does that work? Because in the universe, we're constantly expanding and moving and we're rotating around the sun. So it's just like we expand with the comet. Like how, why do we see them like repeatedly? Like, it, like weird. 19, why did NASA just send the Mars rover alone to Mars? And then periodically it'll sing happy birthday to itself. Not periodically, every year it'll sing happy birthday to itself. That just seems like really sad and a little weird, but also kind of concerning that those are the people sending rovers to uh, to this other planets. Uh, we should look, we should look into that. Uh, 20, do flat earthers think other planets are flat? That's an honest question because uh, let's say yes, earth is flat. When you look at like the moon or Mars, are they like, yes, that is also a plate or, but like you can clearly see it rotates. So I don't, I don't know. I'd be interested in knowing. A uh, 21. This one's really simple. Why do people play League of Legends? I play it. I can't, I honestly can't tell you why I still play that game. It's infuriating. I get mad every time I play it, but I'll, I'll still play it. So I uh, like, why? Uh, 22. Who decided jigsaw puzzles should exist? Somebody really just took a picture of something, cut it up, and then forced people to assemble it. That sounds like torture. So, uh, how'd this, uh, how'd this become a mainstream thing? Uh, 23. Why is your mouth always wet? Why doesn't it just generate saliva when you need it? Uh, 24. Why do your fingernails grow after you die? Seems kind of creepy. They, Cause they grow for a concerningly long time after you're dead. So why is that the only thing that's affected? 25. In the hit movie Pitch Perfect, how did the Treblemakers lose to the Bellas? This is a serious question. I, I watched that movie the first time a couple days ago. Not a couple days ago. A couple years ago. Treblemakers were just way better. Like way better. I don't, uh, it's just like, that, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous. 26, how do people not like musicals? This is actually an interesting question I've thought about a lot. A musical is just a movie where they use singing to convey the story. It's a musical, everyone knows that. Do you just not like, do people just not like music then? If you don't like a musical? I, I know a lot of musicals like maybe are like associated as like a little more feminine. So maybe for the more masculine macho alphas out there, they don't want to waste their time with it. But there's definitely like other musical like Jersey Boys or something like that. That's a fine musical with like a good, I don't know, man, manly plot. I don't know how to say it, but like, it seems like it's pretty straight. It's just a, it's just a musical. It's just a little singing. Like, do you not, if you don't like music, that's fine. But like, I, I guess that's the answer to my question. Like, how do you not like musicals? 27. Is dropping the soap in prison a TV show and movie cliche? Or is that a real thing? Because in every movie and TV show, they're always like, oh, you're going to have fun in prison. Don't drop the soap. And everyone's like, oh, ha, 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 so funny. But like, is that something that actually occurs? Like if you drop the soap in prison, are you, is it like, are you just getting cheeks clapped or what are we saying here? Because interesting, interesting question. I just know if I ever go to prison one day, I'd like to, I'd like to know what not to do and if that's actually a real thing. Yeah, anyways, that's all my questions. If you have any answers, please let me know. That's kind of it. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Like and subscribe and I will give you a very crisp high five. Peace. A message from the government of Canada.